All right, really, obviously, you know, a guy jumping in the portal with, with your talent, a lot of schools coming after you. You know, what were the, the biggest things that were most important to you in terms of, you know, in terms of your next destination that you really wanted to make sure that your next program had? Uh, just a good relationship with the coaching staff and then um, just a good um, way for them to help me on my academics, like the, the tutoring and all that type of stuff. And then just – we're just really trying to figure out um, how the coaches is, and I feel like Kenny was like one of like one of the realest coaches that I came across of that I have felt. So uh, awesome. Cool. So then, obviously, you, you take a the official visit here recently this past weekend, and you know once you're yeah. in the program, you're seeing these people in person, face to face. You're kind of experiencing the school, the university, the the program, the football facility. I mean, mm -hmm. take, a, take that all in. What were some of the biggest things that made the, the deepest impression on you as to why Arizona State was the right fit for you? Uh, I think the coaching staff, everybody had a lot of energy, and it was just everything was positive. So, and then, and I like the facility and everything was different, like from where I came from. So, and then that was really the main part. And then obviously you have a, a former teammate currently on the roster in uh, Xavier Alford. Did you get any uh, any feedback from him or some of the other guys that uh, might have uh, ha had some input as to what the Sun Devil experience is like? Oh yeah, yeah, they said they love it. Yeah. So and then Xavier told me out of his three, out of the uh, three schools he'd been at already, like this was like one of the best coaching staffs he'd been on. So getting to I'll know. Oh, getting to know Kenny, of course, you mentioned he was keep, keeping real with you. You know what? What jumped out to you about uh, you know Kenny Dillingham in terms of a, a guy who's a leader of the program, obviously a young guy, but just you know um, you know at the head of Sun Devil football. What kind of things jumped out to you about what he what his leadership qualities are like? Uh, it's 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 real real nice. So he just like just um basically telling me like what what my role would be, and like you got to come in and work and compete. And I already told him shit. I'm gonna do that no matter what, and then like, so, and the ways the way he was using me, but the way they said they go use me. You know, talking about that that usage, obviously, you know, he's got a great offensive mind. Marcus Arroyo is a guy who, in his career, has put together some pretty potent offenses. What did they tell you in terms of you know of uh, how they would like to use you, a guy with a very versatile skill set? Uh, me and me and Marcus watched film with my with me and my pops, and then like. He like um, put my film like we watched our my film and then like related to what he'd do in his offense. So that was nice. And then and then he, he said he'd use me like as a back for sure back and then flex me out to like wide out to motioning coming in coming back in screens. It's all stuff like that. Just give me a space. You know, when you when you look at terms of the the entire offense as a whole, you know, obviously in the way that they're going to use you, but just kind of you know, this Kenny Dillingham offense that has really kind of put up you know throughout his career at his various stops, you know, some pretty uh, impressive numbers. What, yeah. what, what jumps out to you about the you know the, the offense and the offensive philosophy that uh, they want to run here in Tempe? Uh, I, what jumps out to me is like it's very the offense is very balanced. Like is he passed any, any run, so like he like his backs so. And then that's about it. It's very balanced to me. And then obviously, you know, throughout the recruiting process, you know, uh, Rashad Samples has uh, been one of the key players uh, for you, kind of developing that relationship and, uh, you know, so many others, uh, new Sun Devils. What kind of jumps out to you about what Coach Samples brings in terms of, you know, uh, as a recruiter and kind of a relationship builder? Uh, it's just, it jumps out to me pretty well because we got something coming in for sure. Like, they build something new, build some. I think this year is going to be way different from last year for sure. Now, obviously, uh, you know, Sean Aguano is a guy throughout his career has developed some really, really uh, productive running backs and, you know, versatile yeah. backs as well. I mean, Camp Scott, who did just, just about everything for the yeah. Sun Devils a season ago. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you said you primarily, you know, you, uh, you know uh, playing running back. What, what kind of jumps out to you about, you know, your future position coach, you know, Sean Aguano and, and his track record of developing very productive college players? Uh, that he just um, he teaches the little things, and he he told us he told us he just let us play, and he like he teaches us the little things like um, the second like the second level like try to the the league stuff. So that that stood out to me. 
So obviously, you know, a, a guy coming out of uh, high school, you know, a five-star recruit, you know, blue chip guy. Did you, you know, obviously comes with that a lot of expectations. Did you ever feel any any added pressure you know, in terms of just knowing that you were so highly regarded coming to high school and you know, one of those those uh, you know those blue chip guys? Uh, no, I just I never felt that pressure because uh, I just know what I'm gonna do when I step on the field. So. So for any Sun Devil fans who might not have uh, seen you in action, you know, give our give our listeners and viewers a self scouting report. You know, what can they expect to see from you in terms of your skill set and what you can do with the ball on the field? Uh, you you gonna see a lot of shiftiness, a lot of speed, a lot of touchdowns for sure. <laughs> And so, you know, ASU is obviously, you know, a program that, you know, Kenny Dillingham's kind of rebuilding from the ground up. And uh, it, how appealing is that for you to kind of, you know, have a chance to be kind of in on the ground floor and, and, and part of something, uh, you know, that, that's building and, and working in the way up? Yeah, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help Kenny uh, bring some bring some special to this program for sure. And I think it's going to happen because it look like it look like we're getting the right pieces. We're getting it. We're getting it right. So. I feel I feel good about next year. I think we go have a uh, winning season for sure. Now, obviously, yeah, you're just one of, of many kind of uh, big names that are coming in and have announced their commitments to the transfer portal so far. Mm-hmm. Signing day, of course, uh, is uh, a, a day away. What's your overall thought on just kind of all the of the you know the with along with you the re, you know the incoming crop of, of new Sun Devil talent? Uh, sure. I think I think I think it's good. We're getting a lot of talent and a lot of talent from all over the place. So. And I think that's good for us. And I think we're going to have a um, next year going to be way different for sure. Now, of course, you know, off the field, it seems like you you, you have eyes on becoming uh, going into broadcasting, uh, you know, at some time, some point down the line, you kind of uh, uh, obviously the, the Cronkite school at ASU is a great fit for that. Uh, what kind yeah. of uh, what kind of drew you to, to that line? You know, obviously, w- whenever the football days are over and kind of moving into to broadcasting. Because uh, I, I, I just like talking about football. So like I feel like that's that's one big part of it, and then I'll be seeing all these uh, uh, ex NFL players after they done doing all on the TV talking about football and stuff. So that's pretty pretty interesting to me. Yeah. So, so you know, look, looking ahead to, to next season, obviously you know you have a, a, some returning talent in terms of Camp Scadaboo to Carlos Brooks, uh, mm-hmm. Kyson Brown as well, uh, you know four star uh, freshman coming in, and, and Jason Brown as well. What, what what do you feel like kind of the makeup of, of, of that Sun Devil backfield? It seems like a, a lot of talented guys with also a lot of uh, different skill sets. Yeah, this is uh, that's that's what we need. It's all different types of skill set for different different plays, different um, different down and all that. So that's very good for us. And then always need talent to keep the um, keep us fresh and to keep us pushing. So make us better. So when you look ahead to, to next fall, you know, for the 2024 season, what kind of goals have you set for yourself? What, what, what are the things that you'd like to achieve? Uh, I ain't really um, really got no goals right now for next season, but I just I for sure want to win, though. And then, you know, looking kind of further down the road, you know, you come in to, to ASU uh, with uh, three seasons of eligibility left. You know, when all said and done, when you're able to, you know, look back in the entirety of your college career one day, what are the things that you want to get out of out of the the rest of your time in, in college and at Arizona State? Uh, just just learn, just learn a lot, and just connect, have good connections with people around ASU. So, just really connections and learning. So for uh, you know, Sun Devil fans have, have seen a, a program that has had a couple couple down years, but you know, with a lot of incoming uh, newcomers and uh, some intriguing talent. Things look are, are looking up. What would be your message to Sun Devil fans about what to expect, uh, you know, from this year's team and in the next couple of years? I just say expect a, a team that's uh, finna go out and win and then give it all they got 